Good evening and welcome to the new edition of Bahrain Today, which covers various topics, latest news and the events of the Kingdom. Good evening, Mohamed. Good evening, Fatma. Thank you. Hi, today we'll cover different topics and special events that are happening in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I am Fatma Al-Bastigi. And this is Mohamed Al-Sarraj and welcome to Bahrain Today. Food trucks have been the trend lately, which how they're on, this entrepreneur takes elements from a variety of different places and fuses them into something unique and creative to serve her clientele from all over the island. The food industry in Bahrain is full of youthful entrepreneurs who open businesses with a variety of different unique selling points. An example of this is Mariam Shakib, who currently has a street food food truck. Mariam Shakib believes social media is a necessity to every business, so she has subsequently taken that into consideration in regards to her social media to ensure she gets maximum viewership. Struggles are bound to arise in business, but it is about how you conquer those obstacles that is the most important element. Maryam has a very diverse cuisine, taking elements from a variety of different places and fusing it into something unique and creative. Food trucks have been the trend lately. Maryam has ensured that her food truck is unique to better help her stand out in the market. Food trucks are involved in a variety of national events. As this industry grows, the regulations and rules are updated to better help Bahraini entrepreneurs. Maryam is planning on branching out as she works on expanding her food truck business. Here with us in the studio tonight is Miriam Shakib. Hi, Miriam, and welcome to our studio. Hello, hi, thank you for having me here. Our and pleasure. It's, it's nice uh, to get beside you here. Thank you so uh, much. Um, so, Miriam, we are very excited to have you here and we're excited to see this box. So, tell us more about your food truck business. Um, we started, first of all, in um, and participating in events and tools and then after that we started when we saw that there is a demand in our um in our products products and our food we started yeah. having our food truck mm -hmm. of course and, and how, how you, long yeah. have you been uh, i've doing been in food industry like seven years uh -huh. and um we're going to the eighth Right on. I mean, I find it really interesting that people are converting from, you know, traditional restaurants into food trucks and I see it all the way in Janabia. <laughs> so <laughs> is it hard to manage a food truck and what are the challenges do you face as an entrepreneur? Um, as a difficulty, for sure, there's a, in any business you face the challenges and you have to face it at, at the end. Um, we started, I told you that from the beginning, starting it and we taste the market, uh, we taste the market as in a participating in events, which were receiving an invitation from organizing events organization. Mm -hmm. And um, because the demand, what we, re we receive it from the customers, that they let us to be there in the market. All right. And what kind of cuisine do you serve? Um, street food. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you want to tell us more? Yeah, sure. Um, here I just get you um, some drinks. Okay. Uh, but what we are usually and basically what we are doing, uh, we're getting um, from each country a cuisine like mango sticky rice, um, Indian cuisine. We're having the tacos, Indian chapati tacos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Sounds and interesting. We're playing with the spices and flavors. Um, my partner Fouz Janahi, she's, she's the one, she's finding the recipes and she's looking for the ingredients um, and I'm the taster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the so fun part. Yes. You manage the business and she's the chef yes. behind the business. I'm doing the 
pricing for it, putting the marketing strategy for the for the food truck, how we're right. going to market on the media or whatever That's channels great. we're going to use. Yeah. Well, and what are your future plans like? What do you have planned for uh, planned? Um, for now, we're starting with the food truck. Mm -hmm. uh, till now, we didn't taste well the market because okay. it's something new in Bahrain, and we're aligning with the youth what they are looking for and we're trying to have You're some going with the trend. trend with the trend that's, yes, that's really great in Bahrain. and oh, which yeah. events are closest to you which um, events do you make sure you participate in every year um what i can say till now there is no any plan that we're going to participate in events because we are basically we're wait stopping in any location that we're um having um the license to stop okay, okay. um for any events that we're receiving an invitation, we have to check the prices. Of course. Because sometimes it's very high mm -hmm. right. as a startup and food truck. Mm -hmm. And it's costly to have a food truck for mm -hmm. now. Definitely. And we have to make sure how much it will be for the participation. Okay. Oh, right. I want to see what's inside the box. Sure. <laughs> I'm very tempted. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting, you know. Um, as I started, it was sherbet. Mm -hmm. I think everyone knows I remember. Me. Yes, I know it as um, sherbet. Exactly. Yeah, I started as a sherbet, and we started to do the bottles and um, catering. Can we can we get yeah. a sample to show sure. the camera, so our viewers can have a look and Zephron. they could? Uh, yeah. Almost, we're having ninety-seven flavors. Ninety-seven wow. flavors. Yeah. Wow. Syrups and fresh juices. So we can just go ahead and order this yes, through Instagram, anytime. and we do catering for any occasions and any events. Right. Do you deliver? Yes, we do the Great. delivery. Yep. This looks really, really yeah. yummy and refreshing. Yeah, well. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for much, joining Maria. us. Thank you so much. It was really nice to have you guys here. Of course, we thank Miriam again for joining us. It was a pleasure having her here. And we wish her, of course, continued success in the future. Best of luck, Mariam. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Welcome back. From a geological point of view, stones are filled with minerals. Pebbles are a type of water-washed stones found on the sides of lake beds. Tell me, have you ever came across pebbles that look like penguins, dogs, fishes, or even owls? Painting on stones is now becoming a craze all over the world, and in Bahrain too. Up next is our Bahraini artist who transformed her passion into a business. Human beings have been leaving their mark on Earth by making art. In ancient times, people sculpted figurines and painted on cave walls. As you saw, it's stones and we draw on stones and it's fun and kids love uh, colors. And so we have a new, something new they will do, is how to draw on stones. And I'm an artist, I'm showing them the technique. Shahzalan Ali is a Bahraini artist. Her love for art made her transform her passion into a business. Shahzalan now portrays her art on Instagram and she transforms her passion to children. Her main medium are pebbles. She believes if she loves it, then children will love it too. I'm an artist, as I said before, all right? I love colors. I've been painting a lot, you know? So I love stones too. I've been collecting them since a long time ago. So, yeah, so I thought, so like, why don't I uh, draw on stones too? Put my pictures on it, draw some colors, and become very fun and very nice and make me very happy. So I said, it's fun for me. I'm sure it will be fun for others. The idea behind pebble painting or rock painting started when Megan Murphy started collecting heart-shaped stones and pieces of sea-smooth glass from the beach. At one point she said, finding them made me happy and I wanted to provide others with a similar experience. It is amazing how people with a similar passion share the same thoughts. 
Welcome back, viewers, and of course, hello, Shahzalan, and welcome to our studio. Thank you. I see that you've made a lot of beautiful artwork with your stones and pebbles, if uh, we may say. So can you tell me what inspired you to go into this kind of art? As you know that I'm in love with colors, I'm an artist, so... You told me since you were five years old. Yeah, I love colors. So that's so a long fun. journey. It is, it is, but it's fun all yes, the time. Yeah. Yes, it is. And what uh, you know, drove you into this kind of art? Why did you decide, you know, drawing on stones? I'm in love with stones too, and I've been drawing lots of uh, colorful things, so I said, why don't I do it on stones? And it's not a new thing to do anyway, mm -hmm. but I started doing it in Bahrain, mm -hmm. and uh, it's enjoyable. Mm -hmm and fun and I believe uh, stones can give you a, an, a good a good energy. energy you feel yeah. like a beach energy kind True. of thing, earthy energy yeah great so that's why and how long does each piece take uh, well as the beginner when I started doing it so I was drawing a lot of painting things but when I started doing it on stones it took me a long time maybe mm -hmm. take me an hour to decide what to do on it mm -hmm. and how to mix the colors and make it match with of it of course but now it takes me like 10 minutes as maximum and how many pieces do you do per day? Is it a daily thing or do you have, you know, it depends on your mood and... It's a daily thing because I'm in love with it. It's mm -hmm. not about the mood, the mood is there always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've made something for us uh, in the studio. Can we see it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's can you just show it to the camera? Yeah, of course. That's yeah. a beautiful... Thank you, I'm in love with flowers too. <laughs> does, it, does it show? That's really beautiful. What inspired you, you know, to go for these colors on this stone in particular? Well, colorful things, it gives you more enjoyable thing, you know, it's just when you draw something nice with colors, mm -hmm. it's just, it doesn't matter if you draw a flower or a bird or a sea or a tree. Mm -hmm. It means how you color it, how put the colors on it, of how to match things in the stone, because you have to choose each stone and think what you're going to draw on it, so yeah. it matches together. Of course. So that's how it comes, you know, mm -hmm. with passion. And you told me off air that you collect your stones personally. One by one. So. Uh, when do you find the time to do that? Do you do it in Bahrain, outside of Bahrain? No, it's in Bahrain. Actually, I buy it, mm -hmm. you know, from this okay. people. They bring it for gardening and things. Mm -hmm. It's a river stones and there's different kind of stones mm -hmm. you can choose. Okay. All right. And uh, usually I buy the river stones and I choose one by one. And then I just create whatever I like to do. And is it easy to teach this art to kids? Because, you know, art is important. The kids are fun and very easy to deal with, especially with me because I'm, I love kids mm -hmm. and they're loving colors. So it's easy to just bring them to it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's easy to teach them. Of they course. have this mind, you know, mm -hmm. and it's they give you the power. Of course. And you don't only paint on stones, I'm sure. No. No. You do other art forms do, of art. Yeah, yeah. On Can you tell us more about that? Like I've been drawing on glass, on wood. Wow. Yeah, okay. as you know, this is it. And um, paper, different kind of things. Yeah. But now I just stay on that. On Focus on that. Yeah, and this one. And do you participate in events, you know, to sell yes, the pieces and promote this kind of art I across do. Bahrain as well? Uh, yes, I do that. And I've been doing it in uh, Bahrain Farmer Markets. Uh, mm -hmm. two, uh, two years ago, started doing it there and showing my stones over there. Mm -hmm. Especially the people, they're really in love with it. They you love know? it. Yeah, they Because love it's it. something new to us, maybe not to you, because you're into this, <laughs> you know, field. But yeah. to me, it's, I mean, very amazing. The details are amazing. And is there a special, you know, piece to your heart? Something that you won't sell? They all are. <laughs> and when they, you know, each one comes and buy something or get something from me, I feel they get in something from my, my body, like part of piece of me, you yes. know? So it's a special thing to me. It's more than, uh, it's nothing to do with money here. Mm -hmm. It's just the art by itself. The art. And it's me. It's this piece, it's me. Yeah. So when you, you know, they get it, I appreciate it. Yeah. At the same time, get it, no problem. It's a piece of me and be happy with it. Of course, so. you'd like to share this with others. Of and course. will we see your pieces outside of Bahrain one day? Inshallah? It is already. It is. it is. Can you tell me about that? Actually, I have uh, customers from America, mm -hmm. from Australia, from Africa. And I've been doing many. Do you do that through social media? Do you like promote uh, your art they pieces? They come to Bahrain and especially when they come to the Bahrain farmer markets, mm -hmm. they find me there and mm -hmm. they ask for orders before they leave. Mm -hmm. So it's already been there. They get it, mm -hmm. they get it as a gift mm -hmm. for their friends or for their families, you know? Yeah. And it's enjoyable. It's yeah, a very it's precious fun. gift, I'm sure. It is. Yeah, and they it can is. remember, you know, the memories and the moments. And do you consider, you know, opening specific classes for this kind of art like a studio? 
I'm trying to do that actually, you know, it takes a lot of time and I started doing it with the friends, you know, mm -hmm. because they have a studio, it's ready for me there. No, I need to try it one day. You should, it's fun. <laughs> yes, it's definitely. Really fun. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Of course, thank you so much, Shazalan, for being here with us tonight. Thank you very much. We had a pleasure, you know, to see these pieces and this art and I'm sure the viewers enjoyed watching you and looking at these beautiful arts. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for making this for us, of course, and thank you for this eco-friendly idea. Beach cleanups are volunteer activities that take place on a regular basis along the seashores around the world. Environmental groups, local organizations, and individual beachgoers collect beach trash to make the beach a safer place and to improve the ecosystem. The ironic part is beach cleanups don't necessarily have to be on the beach itself. Street cleanups, or rather creating green streets, are another way to keep our envir environment clean. So let's watch together how we do it here in Bahrain. Cleanup Day 21st of September 2019, a box of goodness has organized a beach cleanup in Medina Salmon Beach in Budaya, Bahrain. A group of volunteers have decided to come together on the special day in order to clear up the beach from unwanted ways to keep Bahrain clean and tidy. I'm here volunteering to clean up uh, Medina Salmon Beach. It's very hot, but it's very fun. It's good for the environment. We are a non-registered charity in Bahrain that has been operating for the last three years. And one of the projects that are closest to our heart is beach cleanups. Um, Bahrain is like my second home. Actually, I call it my home now. We believe that whatever that we do makes uh, a whole lot of difference. It's actually my first time ever to come and help them, but uh, I always wanted to do. And I want, like, it's a good thing, like, to be the world, to be cleaner and the environment. And uh, I really wanted to teach my kids as well. This is a good thing to do, like, to keep everything clean and to help the world. So I'm so happy to be there and to participate with Box of Gardeners. Thank you for watching. This is Mariam El Bayati reporting for Bahrain International. Welcome back, viewers. So we're here today with Shamim, the one behind this lovely idea. Hello, Shamim, and welcome to Hi. our studio. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. So can you tell us what's behind the enthusiasm for such an idea? Well, I, I, I come from Sri Lanka, and if, as you know, Sri Lanka is an island surrounded by beautiful beaches, and it's a, a, a national pride to have your right. beaches beautiful and clean because it's not only a sense of tourism and a pleasure to your eyes, but it's also to keep the marine life and uh, also thriving and, and safe. So this was a huge influence in wanting, because Bahrain is also an island, to basically bring back the same kind of thinking here. And you've started this how long ago now? Uh, well, the charity is uh, three years old right. and um, Within the last year, we've been actively doing beach cleanups. Right. Yes. And how does social media help you know, to bring the youngsters to be part of such a move? Well, social media is... Uh, a major player. <laughs> it's a major player. We get a lot of uh, corporate sponsorship. We get a lot of volunteers coming forward purely through uh, word of mouth and, and social media. It, uh, social media really helps um, make news travel so much faster. Um, and also uh, we are able to show people live what we are doing you know it, it puts like uh, it, it puts a face behind uh, what we're doing um, it also shows people how easy it, mm -hmm. how easy it is to, to take part and to and interact. motivate them you know to do yes. the same even yes. if it's you know in the neighborhood or around their own yes. you know home yes. yeah. and how often do you guys you know arrange these um, trips or these activities Okay, so we we normally do it when the weather is a little 
cooler definitely uh, and then we when understand the <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, when the weather is a lot cooler we try to do it at least once every two weeks All right. uh, and we take like a friday early morning and we go on to the beach one of the and most you're of starting now nowadays yes. the, the weather is getting better yes, yes. Right. we did we did one a couple of weeks ago for a world cleanup day oh that's amazing yes, yes. I, I i i went to karbabad beach and okay. helped out uh, beach cleanup i yes, think the group yes. Uh, you're not a part of that. No, we're not. It's but a, beach cleanup, uh, beach cleanup, the Bahrain beachcombers, these guys do amazing work, and they're actually uh, charities that are focused on beach cleanups and, mm -hmm. and marine conservation. Uh, so we should conservation. definitely join next time. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yes. And what do you do with the with the trash that you take? We you we basically collect, collect uh, trash separately. We separate plastic from the general That's rubbish. True. And the plastic we collect and we donate it to the association of the parents and friends of the, um, the sorry, the Bahrain Association for the family and friends of the disabled. And have you ever encountered, you know, uh, marine animals that were endangered because of, you know, pollution and waste? Well, not not while we are doing any Thankfully. of the beach clean cleanups, mm. but there is a huge effect. Like this is what Definitely. I wanted to say right. that when people come for our beach cleanups, they're surprised because they're like, we never knew Bahrain beaches were so dirty. You know, you always think that it's happening somewhere else in the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's happening here in Bahrain. Yes. Right. And when our beaches are dirty, our marine life gets uh, like when there's plastic in the oceans, uh, the fish eat this plastic mm -hmm. and then we eat the plus oh, yeah. exactly. we eat the fish <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. It affects yes. us yes. you know yes. that's so it's, it's a vicious cycle yeah. and uh, and the volunteers are are they like um, family oriented is it is it a family um, um, like family a family true. event kind of thing well, or is it individuals or is it teenagers it is it older people so what is the category <coughs> that you attract yeah. most you know to to participate well, we've we've had companies come forward now bahrain credit works with us and their team comes in, in, in a huge force. Right. Uh, we have like anything between 20 to 40 uh, staff members. Wow. They do it part of their CSR initiatives yes. and they bring their kids. So it's really nice to see parents and children uh, like, you know, setting an example. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think one thing important uh, that we all have to learn is to pick up what we what we even drop exactly. or, or, or trash yeah, to pick right. up after our trash. So do you do, yes. do, do, you do this um, like in the streets, not on the beach? Do you, have you ever done that? Uh, or no, we, we purely go out? on to uh, the beaches. Uh, we, we do beaches and then um, we don't do any kind of road clean okay. okay. Yes. Yes. So me. what's next? Yes. What's the, the next activity or the next beach the club? Next the next one. The beach cleanup, which is, what's the beach you're heading to? We are going towards uh, Karbabad. Okay, uh, when is next, that? Next Friday. That's my uh, neighborhood. Ila yeah? <laughs> okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll probably that. join you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please do. <laughs> yes, 11th of October. What time? Um, we're planning around 9 a.m. Okay. Nine yes. Okay, yeah, I hope so the weather is better. Inshallah. Of course. <laughs> Cross fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of yes. course. Uh, yeah. So, um, do you plan to, you know, introduce such things at, at schools? You know, give some talks so that you know the young generation would also learn yeah. from these experiences. Well, in our, in the past, we've had uh, some schools joining us as well, but also in terms of education, I think we we would look at getting together with like an urbaser, mm -hmm. uh, where they can come and like explain more about recycling and, mm -hmm. and the effect of how like everyday plastic, like we, mm -hmm. we use like a, a plastic bottle and we throw it not one, not thinking twice of how where it's this going. Affect yeah. Us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. It takes thousands of years Definitely. for that plastic bottle to perish. Yeah. But we just use it. It's single use. Yeah, unfortunately, so, right? Yes. We, we got to um, uh, build that kind of awareness yes, uh, yes. throughout us. Yeah. And um, the, the, the volunteers, are mm -hmm. they locals or are they uh, expats? They are, they are a mix. They okay, are, a mix, they are a mix of expats and of What do you locals. see more of? <laughs> <laughs> you can be honest, it's fine. We <laughs> want to you know, <laughs> motivate people to you know. Well, yeah, expats, but with Bahrain credit, they have a lot of locals. Right. And I've been trying to convince them to get oh. to, to do this more often um, because it's I, I don't consider this Bahrain like not my country, but it's it's right. Earth it's is a home, home to, to everyone. That's what you, you mentioned know? in yes. the yes. report. Yes. 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 And, um, how 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 uh, can media help out uh, with how this? can we help yeah. so basically well, you if 
you don't really have to come onto the beach to help us. Like I myself at home, I'm not saying I'm a zero uh, waste. Yeah. Uh, I'm not completely that's, zero that's waste. Too hard, yes, right? it's very hard. But whatever plastic that I consume at home, I collect it in a separate, uh, like a trash bag, and then I donate it to the uh, the drop-off point in Adelaide, yeah. the the association that's collecting it. And basically, what they do is they collect the plastic, and then they donate it to uh, they they sell it to the recycling plant. And mm -hmm. the money from this, they buy uh, real chairs. Yeah. Yes. That's so true. I mean, it's, it's helping two two different streams. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes. Of course, thank you, Shamim, for being thank here with so us. Thank you so much. And all the best in the upcoming thank cleanups. Thank you so much. Thank you. For best of luck. Here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's episode and entertained yourselves. Today's episode was very delightful as we enjoyed the ride on food trucks which drove us all the way to the art of painting on stones as we reached our final stop, the ecosystem. You got it. But before we go, we thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow for more excitement. That's right. And don't forget to leave your inquiries and suggestions on the email address and social media mentioned on the screen. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Have a good one.